What inspired you to do music? Um, I think just the fact that I have a story to tell, you know? Like, at the end of the day, you all go through stuff. I know that what I've gone through, out of every 10 person, most of them, about seven to nine people, probably gone through something similar than that. So, I think it's just the fact that um, it's a talent in itself. Just try to live like the hands in the sky I'm trying to have a good time I'm a young dude Just try to live like the love God See, I'ma drop my phone With one kill like I'm dead shot My words are like laser beam Now I'm shooting like sight Ain't Anybody that says I'ma spit ball with one eye Like I'm fed in bar Anybody that says I'm fed in bar Psychologically, physically, and spiritually. Those were one of the few things that made me decide, like, okay, let's start, let's start there. And then over time, just diving into this whole music thing, poetry thing, just being an artist and everything, I wanted to really show that out on a project. And I just wanted to really talk about this season that I've been going through the last few years. I had a poem that I wanted to pick on this project. The song, Welcome to Rehabilitation, was originally a spoken word piece. And I wanted to do this because I wanted to add a different dynamics, not only to my music, but to music overall. Like, I don't know many artists that has a spoken word piece on any of their projects like that. So, for somebody who's putting out the EP for the first time, that was a start point where I wanted to stand out and be different as a rapper. There were some challenges that I had to deal with in doing that. I was crushing it over time if I wanted to do spoken word over music because I didn't have that idea at first. But when I decided to do so, it was a struggle because I never done spoken word over a beat. Life has ways of making things look so appealing They trap you in and only get you up in this position it Music video was very fun to do <laughs> uh, Originally, I wasn't going to do a music video for this But it was just something um, creatively I just wanted to do Because I'm also into film And I really wanted to put some of my own film and own music videos out as well I was in the studio of Town Shots Y'all should check them out and you know, we just spent like two hours up in there just doing mad takes, me recording over one one verse and stuff like that. And I'm just like, wow, this is amazing. And um, it was a different dynamic too, because I never really been in a photo studio, professional photo studios like that. So it really made it more fun. Um, definitely had the ideas of what I want for this music video. It really came out to what it is. They won't let me be the way they try to hold me. Got me going crazy. I wanna be free. You hold it all tightly. Lately, haven't been acting like the real. I was with my engineer. He just got finished recording another song of mine. And he was like, yo, you should have a song on this project where you spit like 16 bars or you freestyle. So I went back to the unfinished poem that I had. And I decided, let me see if I could turn this into like one long verse. And rules in my head, you ain't trying to make me down. I was really going through it when God got me out. And that's the first thing that I took from this lesson. You go through the trials and you go get your blessings. Even at times, I don't feel so phenomenal. Looking up to God, feel 
sound like is it possible? Going through my mind, I tryna sound so cynical. This is my story, I'm telling you my chronicles. It's not always.